Ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is my deepest pleasure to introduce the famous philanthropist, Professor Kevin Reynolds. Well, that doesn't bode well, does it? Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And I almost said, hi, I'm Aught Punk, so now you know where my brain is. I am not Aught Punk, she is Aught Punk. Yes, and this is Haunted Hotel Eternity, and it is number eight of the Haunted Hotel series, and it is the first game that takes place, oh, well, no, it's not really the first one that takes place in modern times. I think the first, first game was, it might have been modern times, it might have, well, I mean, it was modern times in 2000, but this is actually taking place in modern, modern times. Yeah, th there's eight, though, so far that we've played. There's actually 20, but... No, the last game was very confused as to what it was and was some sort of fever dream of somebody. I'm not sure who. That's what I've decided anyway. It thought it was in current times, but it so wasn't. Anyway, let's get going. Custom. We do not need plus items or sparklies or a tutorial. Charge time goes down to zero, or as low as it goes anyway. All right, here we go. Pay whenever you're ready. I need your help. I can pay you $100,000. Meet me at Sherman Park. That waiter's voice did not match that waiter's face. Oh, I knew you'd come. I I'm Kevin Reynolds. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, detective. However, I would like to confirm your identity first. Any form of government ID will do. Shouldn't you have asked that before we came to here? Okay. Yeah, definitely should have asked for that before we came all the way out here. Wait, what is this? Oh. Let's see. Which person are we? Are we James? Are we the girl? I wonder if it's going to tell us or if we're just a random detective. I don't know if James is in this anymore. What am I looking for? Handprint. And a cassette tape. What period of time is this taking place in? Private detective. Yeah, I guess we don't have a name. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you can tell when an object is something you're supposed to be clicking on, even without actually knowing uh, what you're looking for. I have in fact done that often. Get up there, you jerk. Thank you. That should be permanent forever and always. The job is very simple. I just need some extra security. Here's your contract. I'd prefer to get any formalities out of the way. Thank You're... you. Sorry for the red tape, but I had to... You're just gonna hire me right at the press conference? That seems like poor work. This agreement made on the... 8th of September, 1978. Okay, we have a date for the first time. Between fate, that's me, and Professor Kevin Reynolds, hereby proclaims that the employee shall provide security services to the employer as described below to protect the employer's life by any means, to perform other services as needed to ensure the employer's safety, the employer shall not be held liable for the employee's life, uh, I don't know if I want to read that. To pay the employee a sum of $100,000, to provide job references and potty positive media coverage, to pay for a weekend at the famous Holy Mountain <laughs> Hotel. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't like this contract either, but I think we're going to sign it anyway. Oh, it's time for my speech. 
Just secure this area. Tobias's detail has the rest covered. Okay, how do we do that exactly? Thank you, thank you. To begin with, I would like to say how very You wouldn't be able to put your hand up before the bullet came. You would have noticed that after it passed you, my dude. I need protection if I don't want to get electrocuted. That's fair. Okay. I don't know what I need that for, but I don't think that that barrel is going to help you. I think you should just stay there. I don't believe this. They're attacking me in public. Please, you'll have to get me out of here. My car is over there, but those blasted boxes are blocking the way. Hold tight, I'll figure something out. Or I hear the police. You could just wait for the police. What the heck? Okay. If I had something to reach those crates, I could pull them over here. Dude, you're supposed to be running away. The police are coming. Whoever's shooting at us. What? What? Should do a hidden object puzzle while getting shot at. <laughs> Alright, that might be slightly more protection, but I would still wait until the police got there. Okay. Tobias Irving Security. Tobias Irving, his badge says head of security. Tobias, where were you? I was almost killed. You said no one could get past your men. No one should have. Whoever these people are, they're professionals. At any rate, this area is compromised. It's likely they're lying in wait at your house, Professor. But don't worry, I have a backup plan. Oh, well, that doesn't sound suspicious or anything. Don't worry, newbie. We're going to a safe house I've used before. It's an abandoned hotel just outside of town. They'll never find us there. Why don't you go to the police station? Here, look at these. I've invested all my time and money to advance medicine and make the world a better place. Is that really worth killing me for? Yeah, you're not sus at all either. The Illumination Project explored new possibilities for using the human brain. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Also, why is this paper, like, very old-fashioned if we're in the 70s? Ah. Project Phoenix. We researched ways to induce recovery from mortal injuries. Okay. Oh, well, excuse me. Unless this is old stuff he did. Which I guess is possible. Oh, I can't talk about this one. Suffice to say that we were too ambitious. The rest is classified. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Yeah, yeah, uh, umbrella vibes would be a good way to put it. Look, they were trying to make people immortal and it didn't work. I wonder how badly that ended. Tobias, is this the place? Yep, this is it. Well, everybody out. Here she is, the once famous Eternity Hotel. Wait here while I unlock it and turn on the lights. Tobias, wait. I need my briefcase. It's locked in the trunk. You mind getting it for him? Our driver, Douglas, has the code. I'm gonna look around. Make sure no squatters moved in. Just watch him, all right? I don't like either of you people. Okay. Looks like I need a code. Yeah, I know. 
Hey. The professor is dear to me. I don't know where I would be without his kindness. Okay, I, I need the code. Oh. Of course, here you are. I've memorized it, so you may keep it. The trunk can be a little tricky, but considering how you did today, I doubt you'll need my help. What on earth? Oh, this is one of those, get rid of the ones that are the same, and the, la the leftover one is the correct one. But my brain is not having any of that. This is the right one. Okay. Fedora! Okay. I guess I don't need anything else in here. Just stick that to the tape that happens to be there. Alright, one... Five, two, seven. We're in Minnesota? Where did you see that? Oh, I look, wasn't even looking at the license plate. Reynolds and Company contracts documentation. Mr. Reynolds delivers public speech. Sponsorship documentation. You don't want to take those with you, huh? All right. Also, I don't remember private detectives being in charge of security details. Tobias? Hello? What the? What can I help you with? Have the 1.19 update be been announced? For what? Minecraft. No, uh, the 30th it's coming out. But has it been announced? Yeah, it's been announced. They said it's coming out on the 30th. What is it? It's the rest of the Caves and Cliffs update. No, 1.19! I don't know. Look it up! I'm watching a video about, about uh, things that should be added in the 1.19 yeah. wild update. Oh, no, that's the next one. I have no idea when that's coming out. After? Wait, so it's been announced? I don't know. All I know right now is I'm streaming and you're interrupting me. Oh, fuck a lot of work. Close my door. Thank you. The new, uh, sorry, he left already. Are you going to make me do a knock-knock joke anyway? Probably. I'm sorry. Would you like to do a knock-knock joke, Ott? Fine. Knock-knock, who's there? Figs. Figs who? Figs the doorbell. It's broken. Ha 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 ha. You're adorable. No, uh, the new uh, Minecraft update is coming on... Detective, welcome to my humble abode. As you can see, this hotel is hardly accommodating, as the poor professor found out firsthand. But don't let that stop you. Helping nice people is the right thing to do, isn't it? Please, let me go! Help! Do you want to save him? Then you'll have to win my game. Here is your first puzzle. What does Mr. Kevin Reynolds do? No cheating now. Remember, I'm watching you. Have fun. Okay. Yes, it is a saw knockoff, kind of. Yeah, I know. Quiet. That's all I wanted to click on. Thank you. All right. So I was interrupted by Kid Three, who was talking about the new Minecraft update is out on the thirtieth, and I am very excited, and so is he, apparently. The zipper pull is missing. It's also nailed to the top of the table, which is a little weird. Nuts are bolted on tight. These monitors keep flashing random images. What are they trying to show me? I mean, they're probably just glitching, so probably nothing. Magnet! Now oh, there's poisonous gas. 
I can feel eyes watching me like I'm trapped under an invisible microscope. That's an interesting way to put it. Uh, I guess the elevator isn't working. Hotel Eternity! Somebody thought they were going to steal the radiator. Tobias Irving Security. No, he wasn't vaporized. He's the bad guy. Duh. I want to catch some water. I guess I needed to go faster than that. Okay. Wait, I'm not allowed to leave? Lame. Only had grabbed all of those photos. Coming soon. Eternity. Working together for a better world. That's a weird thing for a hotel. Alright. So now I have a lock pick. Let's see. And it's a box. Too far down in the crack. It's a metal. Magnets don't actually make a woo-woo noise, by the way, guys. They should. What on earth? Light bulbs are apparently a commodity in this dump. What? Oh, because it's screwed on? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I I don't entirely understand how any of this works, but sure. Morphing objects. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, well, we need a screwdriver and lots of different little pieces of things. And a wrench. And we don't have any of those things. So what do we do now? Oh wait, there's something else stuck in the floor here. <laughs> More magnet noises. Game over. Yeah, no, not so much. A screwdriver! There was a plumb bob. Maybe I could use that. You don't know. Oh. It goes over here. A knob and a knob and missing fl a fluorescent lamp. It's missing the housing for the fluorescent lamp, not just the fluorescent lamp. That's a large difference. Why do we need water? Wow, that's very well animated water. Change to the radiator. Yeah, I got that. It's Tobias vaporized. Big budget, yeah. Well, or it's much newer, which, which it is. Gypsum. Why do I need gypsum? Well, that's what the water's for. Okay, you really need to know exactly what you want to make with that before you pour it. I did not expect that to work. A perfect plaster hexagon. This game is very weird. There's a hammerhead. I don't know what that is. And a hex wrench. And now I have another light, which I don't know why I need. Why do I need a light here? Okay. I didn't expect that. Um, did I hear an elephant just then? You heard that too, right? I'll poo on you. No? 
I thought something went like that. I, I... My dear detective, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but that bumbling professor isn't as innocent as he claims. He wasn't lying when he said he gave his time and money to those experimental projects. But did he mention those projects were illegal? What if I told you that innocent people suffered because of one? Which leads me to my next question. Which project do I speak of? Think carefully before you answer. Lives depend on it. Okay. I mean, if you have said that one of them hurt people, I would be surprised it wasn't all three of them. What is all of this nonsense? This courtyard's been covered in, or converted into some kind of creepy obstacle course. Yes, it has. It's rusted in place. To the bar. A broom. Oh, this must be where the switch goes. Okay, another knob. What is this? Piece of paper. What is this? this paper smells faintly like chemicals. Was something written in invisible ink? I mean, something was written in everyday ink. Okay. I guess we're not turning. Go away. I want to click over here. There's a ton of unlabeled chemicals here. I should be careful. Good plan. But I want that knife. And that tape. And that hose, probably. Why can't I take those? These thorny vines are blocking the door. Hmm. Alright, let's go put this knob on here. And then we can go inspect the bar. An axe! And... Secret liquid. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Secret liquid. <laughs> Wait, can I use the axe in here? No, that's a metal chain. Made of secret corn. That, that's from the last episode. I see! That's a little excessive. Huh. Okay, well I guess we don't get to go that way. And it's locked. If only we had something to pick it with. Oh wait, we did, just like 10 seconds ago. Right. Okay, I guess we pour this on- oh, because it's the same. What is all this wrong? Anti-rust. Okay, one. We cut a hole in a bottle? Wait, go back. Which one? This one? Okay. This has got all cracks in it, guys. You probably don't want to use that bottle. Oh, I have to tape it up. Uh, duct tape's not a good thing to do with water things, because it is not necessarily waterproof. You'd be better off using a different kind of tape. Let's see, now we need a sprayer... ...and a tube. Put that on there, but first we have to do the red and the green. That's Drano, I think. And this just looks like floor cleaner. The infomercial tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's actually epoxy. That's why that works. Some tape will keep it in place. Okay. I mean, I could just pour it on the handle. I don't need to spray it. That's not how that works. T. Irving. Reynolds and Company funded projects. Experiment failed. A compound bow. And keys. 
the chain isn't long enough, so we need more chain. Look, it's it's a crossbow. We even have crossbows in modern times. There's always crossbows in these things. And you always have to fix them, and you always fix them incorrectly. There could be some clues in here, but I better be careful, you think? Another mask. The switch has been ripped out. Statue is missing a part. A wire for positive contact points is missing. Wow! That's not creepy at all. What is a child's drawing doing here? What is that? Eternity together to a better world. Uh, just a piece of paper. It doesn't have anything written on it, though. Huh. What could Professor Reynolds have done to deserve this? I don't know. It's hanging on by a thread. I bet it could knock it down pretty easy with a crossbow. There's no fuse. There's no fuse. How is it running? It's stuck there, but maybe I could pull it out with something. Magnet? Magnus, don't make that noise! Oh, this one's actually in working order. Good. It's hard to fix stuff like that. Screwdriver. Though I would definitely turn the power off first. That's just me being picky. Okay. Um. I guess we shoot down the mannequin. Oh, here we go. Oops. Got the second one. Bullseye! Yay! It falled. My, my. Whatever did you find? Oh, don't let me distract you. Continue. Can anyone hear me? How? Dude, you have your mouth taped. You can't talk. And you saved way to sift through this mess. It's a swan. What is all of this nonsense? Is there a hole in the... Okay, I guess this is a hole in the floor. Ugh. Okay, um... Need a fire hydrant. And I saw whatever that was. I think that's part of our toolbox. And a chair. I always wonder with these supposed masterminds and whatnot, why they put so much effort into everything. Why don't they just, like, kill people? Like, seriously. This was a lot of energy to set up, I can tell. Yep, that's part of my toolbox. Liars. There was other stuff in there. And a swan figure. I guess this goes over here. No, that's not the right thing. That's a person. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe that gas is making me hallucinate. No, something just fell off of there. I can kind of try to get up there. I can try to get there, but I'll need something to help me reach the second floor. Yeah. We can't go to the bar. What's down here? Oh, you need another chain. We're done over there. Oh, I need... At least there's foosball. Yeah. What is that? A hook. Okay, that... I kind of would have liked more information than that, but that's fine. Oh, I need two pieces of rope. This... does this go here? No, just the chain. Okay. What do you need a hook for? No, that's a bad idea. 
Swan figurine. Huh. Hmm. Where am I supposed to be? Play your current task. Oh, I guess I must have to combine stuff in my inventory. What do I got here? A stick! Now I have a long hook. Still don't need why, know why I need that. Right, um... Alright, do I have anything else I need? A second hook. Yeah, no, well, this is a different game now, to be fair. Wait, no, is it? Oh my gosh, I've already forgotten what we're doing. Did we? No, we already used a second... Uh, we already used a hook on the game. The... <sighs> Take a breath. Now words. We did use a second hook in this game. It was to pull the boxes. You are correct. I don't understand why we need to do that more than once, but sure. I also don't understand what we're supposed to be doing. Over here we need to be. Ew! Please let that be fake blood. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I don't know why I need a hook. Is that to move those? No? Okay. Now I have a plug! I don't need more water. Okay. Okay. I get it. Wait, stop it! Stop! Bravo, detective. You're progressing in your quest quite nicely. Are you certain you still wish to help the professor? You'll change your mind when you learn the truth about Project Eternity. Did you know it was even heavily advertised on television? But then one day, it was gone, like it had never existed. What was it about? Um, why does this guy keep asking me questions and then not letting me answer them? I get a feeling this villain has tampered with everything in this place. No, duh. Better just cut this lock off. Will that work? It shouldn't. Those are not uh, the right kind of clippers. Wow, what is this? Drag each of the horizontal bars off the puzzle by moving the golden marbles up and down so they aren't blocking the bars for moving. Oh, okay. Um, that's enough. I don't understand why this is like this or what it's supposed to be doing, but it makes sense. A fuse. That or no, it's a ghost! This can't be a coincidence. Yes, I did see something! Right. Look, we got rid of cobwebs with our hands! I didn't know we were allowed to do that. This is very thick rope. If only I had something sharp. Alright. A cookie! Aw. So you go there. I hate these puzzles. It's just guessing. Registration book. Eternity project. 
Eternity together to a better world. S. J Junior Lamuck. R. Drew. U. Williford. D. Kane. And T. Irving. And Duke Callahan. Irving. That's Tobias's last name. Who are these people? Well, he's Tobias. I'm almost positive. And if you can't figure that out, you're not paying attention. Um, grinning mask. Ooh, that's creepy. All right, let's go put the fuse. Where, was, where do we need the fuse? In here, right? Yes. That, that's not how that works. Man, I am breaking stuff everywhere and I'm not even trying to break stuff. Wait, where do I need the wire? My brain stopped working. Over here. No, that wasn't where I needed it. Oh, over here. Dear Professor Reynolds, thanks for your support. Your generous donations will help us make Project Eternity a reality. Together we will build a better world. And I think that's Duke Callahan. Oh, I thought it was a lever to press. This must be the switch for over here. Switches don't actually just come off like that, by the way. Ooh, a mousetrap. And a spring. It won't work without a spring. Yes. Okay, so we need... Oh. There's a spring. That's actually pretty ingenious. What is that? Oh, it's a picture of the dude. Why does he look like a chef with doctor stuff on? I don't know if this is this a place where it happened or if this is just a place called this Eternity. This is the Eternity Project audio log. First entry. We've officially begun. That's the first entry, I guess. Several volunteers have signed up already. I've added them to the list. Thanks to a generous financial contribution from Professor Reynolds, we can start today. Okay, money. The advertisement idea appears to be a complete success. Entry number four. That's it, just entry number four. Where's your four? There it is. The master graph collects the combined data of all the subjects. We've been monitoring it closely for changes. I just saw a graph. There it is. Entry 12. The new equipment finally arrived, including some much-needed stethoscopes. You could probably just have bought those. Entry 20. Time is passing by so quickly, yet we're weeks ahead of schedule. That's good. Entry 23. We've tested the latest vaccine, and it works. This formula is revolutionary. Good. Um. Entry 30. Subject Terence is in the first stage of treatment. The initial reports look promising. Yeah, just so we're clear, everybody get vaccinated for COVID, and you should also get your flu shots. Tis the season. Entry 35. Subject reported feeling happy. He said it's like he's been reborn. Okay. Entry 48. They're all dead. It's over. This is my final entry. Damn! What was that? A hammer? It's moving! No! Please, no! Dang! Ghosts! Right. Okay, we are at 40 minutes here, so I think I'm going to stop. This game isn't making a lot of sense, and my brain is having a hard time following it. <laughs> so, I think we're going to stop here, and uh, we can play more of this one. Nope, this game is silly. This game is very silly. I will have to agree. This, this whole series of games is very silly. 
So let's go back out to the menu. All right. Well, no, because what happened is the alternate ending is him being dead, not the actual ending. So, no, he's not. It is not canon. It's an alternate <laughs> ending. <laughs> All right. So we can finish playing this. We can finish with Mystery Case Files and start the next one. And I don't know what else we're going to do. Oh, you wanted me to play one of the games that you were playing that was crazy business. So we'll do that one too. The Bioshock ripoff. Yeah, send me the title so I can pick that one up too. All right. So that will be it for today then. I'm Fate Touch and I will see you all later. Bye.